Hello everybody, Cyanic Jade here, and welcome back to another scoop Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Uh, we are inching ever so close to 1,000 rooms, and I think we're going to be on our way to 800 or 700 today. Not sure which one. It's been a minute since I've played, but we're going to get back into it, guys. If you've liked so far, if you've watched up until now and haven't subscribed and liked these videos, please do so. And, um, yeah. So let's get into it. We're going to continue right where we left off. Okay, so we stopped in 600. Got it. So we're going to go on to 700. And the note was blank last time too, so cool. All right. And we got to get past the worm, specimen 10. So yay. Um, someone had said the note that you read right before you encounter is very, very important. So I'm going to pay more attention to the note. Uh, they also said that you need to stay within their line of sight, but don't get too close. And don't hit it with my axe, which I did. And then... Jeez, right off the bat. That's, that's the second time, second video now. It's been right off the bat that they scared me. Room one, my first room I go into, and they scare me. I mean, come on. Right, right, straight, left door. Okay, and I know it's 610 that we're gonna see it, so we shouldn't have any big scares before then, or that would be messed up. Yep, here we go. Alright, and we don't actually see anything spooky until we get to the room where you turn the generator on. And you see him. Or her. Or her. You never know what gender the monster is. Ooh, my spine's tingling already. Okay, um, Spooky just said there were things we needed it and we read this last time. Yep, we read the last time. Okay, onward. Back into the vents. Ew, gosh. Okay, this is it. This is it, guys. This is where the room. This is the room. Yeah, see, you have to keep it close to become something else when it gets too far away. Something I can't run. So I can't run away from it. I'm ready for you. I see you. I see you. Do I have to look at you? Is it like puppet? Do I have to outrun it? What's happening? Am I safe? Did I just... Am I safe? <laughs> I'm confused. I think I just lucked out on that. I'd be okay with it. I mean, I'm not mad about it. But... I think I really just lucked out on that. You know, whoever they... Uh, hired to do their artwork in here... I think they should um, fire them and get someone else. Ew, what is that baby fetus eating another fetus? <laughs> Yummy. Okay, maybe we can get a hint what's next. So we know all these guys. Th those are those guys are old news. We're on to the more popular people now. Um, do we know a specimen seven? Yes, we did specimen 7. I believe specimen 8, and then I know we did this one. So 10, who are you? Okay, that was specimen 10 that we just did. And then... One more? We have only one more left that we haven't seen? We, get, we definitely haven't seen that dude. Um, He's a floating red figure that was found inside a secret area below a large abandoned corporate office that once owned by a restaurant franchise. The specimen is extremely violent and also seems to leave the house at will despite various containment methods. Victims vanish on contact with specimen, but sometimes remains of the victims have been found inside the testing chamber days later. Proved not effective as victims' souls do not remain after contact. That doesn't really give me any hints, though, of how to fight it. So thanks for nothing, Cat Doss. Um, 
You're a complete waste of my time, so goodbye. Okay, so specimen at 11. I'm not looking forward to that one. Still, though, I really did not like the one that you meet in the mental asylum. I didn't like him. Or her. It. I didn't like it. What is... First of all, what's the music box I'm hearing? Second, what's the significance of this room? Because it pops up a lot. A stinking lot. Ah, beautiful. That makes me feel happy inside. Definitely. Is Weezy going to come after me again soon? Because I feel like he shows up in the green rooms. I miss Wheezy a little bit. He's better than some of the other ones, so... You know... We, ha we have an interesting relationship, Wheezy and I. Um, I don't love him, but I like him better than some. some so... Uh, it's like, pick the least of the evils. What are these no I'm hearing a lot of new noises. And... I don't love them. Uh, I don't like that. Sounds like a million little bugs crawling in my ears, and I don't like it. Is that a monster soundtrack? Is something chasing me? Oh, this is new. Something ch I think something's chasing me. Because this is different music than I'm used to. I think something's definitely chasing me. I'm, I'm just gonna skedaddle. Bye. Can you see the fear on my face? There's a lot of it. Oh, it is! It is! It is! It was bugs! It's a worm! Was he chasing me this whole time? And he just caught up to me just now? He's so- Oh! But I'm confused because it said don't let it out of your sight. So, I mean, it's out of my sight right now. Maybe it's just because I'm so many rooms ahead of it? Oh! Never mind! I'm not many rooms ahead of it! I thought I was! I'm not! I'm sweating. Okay. Music's done. My goosebumps can please go away now. <sighs> Door! I'm still waiting on Wheezy to come after me. He does this all every now and then. <clears throat> I don't think I'd be too upset about it, but... I'd rather have Wheezy chase me than the worm or Bestman 5. I think that's the one that I hate. I mean, let's be real. I don't like any of them, but I like Specimen 5 the least. Okay, okay, okay. Nine more rooms. We're okay. We're okay, we got this. Oh, jeez. Oh, Pete, get off me. I'm telling you, the more you try to rush through them, the more jump scares they throw out at you. Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion is a very appropriate name. Although, I mean, it's got more than just jump scares. It actually terrifies me sometimes, so... Maybe they should adjust that a little bit. Or, they want you to think it's cute. That's exactly what they want you to do. They want you to look at it and think, Toast! That's like, my favorite thing in the world though. Why would they- Why would Toast betray me like that? So upset. Okay, I'm almost there. This is my last room. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Made it to 700. X. Chop it. Chop till you drop. Chop till I drop dead. Yeah. Keep a little pep in your step. I should have had coffee with me today, but I don't. If you notice, my energy is kind of lower than most days. I don't have my coffee. But it's okay. We're going to try to go on a little bit more. 
you know what usually happens though. I get to the checkpoint and then I go on a little bit further and then I die. So, we'll see. At 710, we'll probably encounter a new monster. So who's gonna kill me next? Nothing new. Gosh, you have to go through five million screens to exit. <sighs> Stupid great man. Ooh. Is this the floaty guy? The, the red one they were talking about. Is he next? He's probably next. And then I bet they all come after me at once. Once I've seen them all. Ooh, that's gonna be, that's gonna suck. It look like I'm in a really massive bath. I don't like that one at all. I prefer the cute ones, please. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm in a really massive locker room or something. That's what these walls remind me of. Okay, so- Toast! Stop! Toast, why? Taste the beef. Are we at Wendy's? Oh no. Wait, tell me why this thing haunts a rundown Wendy's. I don't want to be in here. Fun rules. Be this tall, no screams. I don't know about that one. What's in here? The kitchen? Hello, kitchen. What's this note? I was anxious getting a job here at first, but it seems like things are getting better. This chain is really expanding, which is a shock because just last week I heard this company was going broke. Every day more and more people show up to eat here. Something still sets me off about this place, and it's food though. So I'm going to try and not eat anything from here. Is it people meat? Is it human beef? Day uh, two. Today was weird. The average number of orders continues to rise as it, as it has been, but I don't know the number of people. Today I saw someone use the drive through and order a lot of food for one person, and then about ten minutes later, they were back. They ordered the same exact meals, and then they left again. Then, after another ten minutes, they were back again. Maybe they're just delivering food for a party or hotel, but it worries me for some reason. Are they drugging their meat to make you hungry for more human? I don't want to go back out there. It's going to trigger a chase. You think I want to be chased? I don't have the heart for that. Let me out. I don't want to be in here. Is it going to make me go this way? So Beef Boy is going to come after me then. Is that right? Does it go in the bathroom? Oh, jeez. Well, I broke my one rule today. The menu doesn't give out actual lunch breaks, so I can't go anywhere, and they won't allow outside food here. I mean, they actually screamed at the last customer who did that. Anyway, I had a burger. It wasn't bad. I don't feel sick. So I might get a few every now and then. A few? There's a key there. But do I want to open that one? I don't really want to, but I'm going... Okay, that's good. I'm okay with that. Bye. Alright, beef man, I'm leaving. Goodbye, beef boy. <sighs> Dang it. I have to go into the men's bathroom. I'm not a man, though. Broken. And what do I do? Eat a burger? If you want a burger... Actually, I don't want a burger from here. Okay. Oh, this is a kid play area. <gasps> they make hamburgers out of children. That's a meat grinder. I know it. This is strange. I had a dream last night about this restaurant. I knew I was here, but I also felt like I was in another place at the same time. Everything looked so wrong. Nothing was the right size, and I kept hearing these strange animal noises. Almost like wailing. I guess I just feel guilty for eating that burger the other day. Also, today I saw that man again, the one who kept ordering every 10 minutes. This time he never even left the parking lot. He just got his meal parked and then got back in line. He must have done at least eight times before he left. <gasps> Do I have to go in there? Oh, look for- look out for snakes! No alcohol, no driving, no hiding, we will find you. Look at the- He looks like he had a great time. Um... Do I have to go in here? <laughs> Alright, I'm getting FNAF vibes here. There was a horrible accident today, at least that's what the managers are calling it. One of the other employees brought some outside food and got into a fight with the manager about it. The employee said that the burgers here smell like sulfur. I then watched the manager grab the kid's neck and shove his head into the grill. The employee got up and ran out before anyone could do anything, and I'm told that he is fine. 
but that really shook me today. Um, yeah, that really shook me too. I think I'd probably quit. I'd put in my two two weeks notice right there. I'd be like, mm, sorry, it's not a fit for me, guys. I'm gonna go work at McDonald's. They're tricking me. They want me to feel safe, but I don't feel safe. Can I please leave? Hi. What's going on in here? Note. I'm leaving. I fell asleep in my car today after eating one of those burgers. I remember brief flashes of a man or animal coming toward me and feeling like some huge lumbering thing was wailing from deep underground as I continued eating. When I woke up, I was fine, but had veered off the rope. I don't know if it's some weird allergic reaction to the preservative they use or something much worse, but this was my last day. This is because they killed you. So, I get to look forward to a big old beefy man running after me with horns. Delicious. Hey, maybe it's organic. Maybe it's all naturally derived. Is this the exit key? Please be the exit key. I'm wanting to leave this place. Alright, chase scene. Here we go. Come at me, boy. I'm out of here. Bye. Are you kidding me? Just kill me. I don't have I don't have the heart to fight anymore, guys. Where did I go? Oh here? It's broken. Where the heck do I go? I'm stuck. Oh wait, one of these was locked, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh I don't like this place. X. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. What? Well, how is that fair? Get out of here, floaty man. I don't. Well, how is that fair? Heal. You're like. Oh, it was just hidden. Well, well, that's not fair. That's kind of cheating. That's his power. He hides the door from you. What a jerk. And he puts you in the freaking... This is beautiful. This is actually kind of nice. I mean, he's if he's chasing me, I'm I don't have any stamina to use up. I'm just kind of Can I talk to you? Can we just have a nice chat, please? No. No. Okay. All right. That's okay. We don't have to have a nice chat. Um So, as I predicted, I made it to one checkpoint, and then the next one, not even the next one, no, I made it to 710. Um, so we'll start next time at 700. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any tips on how to get past Floaty Boy over here, do let me know. I'm curious. Um, but yeah, this level was, this one was pretty fun actually, the burger one. I like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.